welcome to Bullfrog Bog. This is the location for music here in In the Wild. And what I love most about In the Wild is it is so versatile. There are so many different locations. And one of the great things is we've never done a swamp in VBS before, but what fun. Think about the, the Cypress Swamp. Think about the Bayou. This is going to be a great location for Bullfrog Bog. Now, we do have a small inflatable frog that you could incorporate here. He's more of a rainforest frog, but if you wanted to spray paint him and tuck him in in your in your swamp, that would be great too. We've got some great animals hidden here because again, remember, in the wild is about looking for animals in their natural environments, snapping a picture and then moving along. So you won't see any airboats here. You won't see any piers or, or, or really much of, of a disturbance to the natural environment and that's by design but we have some great little animals tucked all through this environment. We actually found some lawn flamingos and spray painted them white and then rubbed a little gray paint on them so now they're heron which is perfect for a swamp. We have some great little turtles tucked in and I love this. Take a look at this. This is garden stepping stones from someone's yard. This is an alligator and they've come, you can find them in, uh, you know, hardware stores, you can find them at specialty stores, you can even find these on Amazon. And Amazon, I know for a fact, has some molds that of a hippo and an alligator so that you can pour those full of concrete and make multiple sets and tuck them all through your swamp. So this is going to be a lot of fun to decorate for. Now we've got some great trees with some hanging vine. We even took some cheesecloth and tore it into strips and spray painted it with a mixture of brown and green so that you can have this swampy Spanish moss feel. Tablecloths work really well. Twisted bulletin board paper works great for vines. So hang them all from your seat and tuck them into the drop ceiling tiles and have them hanging all over your, your music area. This is going to be a lot of fun. Now we've used foam, but again, you can use cardboard, you can use bulletin board paper, whatever you have at your disposal will work really well. We've cut out these great tree shapes and then after painting them again with a more of a dry brush technique, we put a, a base coat of brown on and then came with a dry paintbrush in with a lighter shade of brown and have come in and put in vertical stripes. You see kind of some half circles here to look like knot holes. It gives, again, a little more of a natural element. And then we've taken a sponge, which you can get at any craft store, even Walmart carries these, and just hit just the edges here with a little bit of green paint. Touch them up on every corner. I love how the roots are coming up like just like what happened in the cypress swamp. And then one of my favorite things about decorating is all of these twisted branches that are everywhere. And this one is cut out of two inch styrofoam. I'll pick it up so you can see what a clever idea it is. You see it's blue on the back. You could also find it in pink, but we've cut out this great shape of a log, making sure to keep that factory edge right here, cut it, tracing away from the factory edge so that you have something nice and stable to set it back down on. Once you paint it and you position it on top of some bed sheets or some canvas drop cloths, you have the perfect thing for completing your look for Bullfrog Bog. This is going to be a blast to decorate for. I think our music teachers are going to love bringing this to life for In the Wild.